Peter Manning, Mike Thrussell and Norman Dunlop are working on the Irish Fisheries Board tagging programme. They've made some incredible discoveries about the distances that one particular shark will travel. It's the blue shark, and it visits our coastline on a regular basis. And the guys reckon that if we travel 15 miles off the Irish coast, we'll have a good chance of finding one. The team has spent most of their lives out to sea, and over the years they've perfected their shark catching technique. First off, Peter prepares something to lure the sharks in. So what have you got in there, Peter? I've minced up mackerel, bran and oil. Bran? Yes. So they like their bran, do they? Oh, they like their bran flakes in the morning. <laughs> they sure do. It smells absolutely disgusting, but apparently the sharks just love it. And because of the oil, it spreads and spreads, luring in sharks from miles away. Mike uses freshly caught mackerel as bait, and the biggest hook I've ever seen. Okay. What we do is we stitch the hook in four or five times so that the wire's hidden inside the flesh. And I notice there's no barb on your hook either. No, what I do is I actually grind the barb off. Two reasons, it gives better penetration into the shark's very tough jaw, but more importantly, it makes it easier to take the hook out of the shark when you're ready to tag and release them. I understand that the actual mood amongst shark fishers has changed very much from the, the old haul them out and display them on the shore now to a much more conservation-based approach. Absolutely. That attitude was prevalent back in the 50s and 60s, but it's now gone completely the other way, and rightly so. I catch the fish on rod and line, they're brought aboard, they're tagged, they're measured, and um, they're put back with this tag in, and that's the best way that you can compile data to, in the long term, help protect these fish, because we need information on them. We need to know where they go, how long they grow, how fast they grow, and we need to know much more about it if we're going to protect them in the long run. I'd never seen a blue shark before, so I was really looking forward to that tug on the line. But the one thing I remember about fishing as a child was the waiting. And the waiting and the waiting. With the weather closing in, we were about to call it a day when Mike suddenly had a bite. Okay. okay. Excellent. Still on? Okay. So what's the idea now? Just keep winding it in, well, is this it? This fish has gone very deep. Okay. Very deep. This has gone really stubborn now, this fish. Right. Really stubborn. And can you tell by the sort of the, the power of it whether it's any you know, sort of size, or is Well, it, sharks just... are sharks, they're individuals. You never quite know what you've got until the fish is at the side of the boat. Now, she's coming up in the water. If you watch the angle of the line... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's the balloon. Yeah, there's, there's, the balloon. The, there's the balloon. Last thing, obviously, you don't want the broken line now, then. No, that's right. As long as the rod's bent, the fish is slowly tiring. Yeah. Oh, I can see... Oh, yeah, I've seen a flash you now. seen some colour down yeah. there? Yeah, seen some colour. Yeah, there it is. It's oh, quite a nice blue, that... actually. It's quite a nice blue. Remember, Norm, it's a barbless hook. They are the most beautiful colours, aren't they? The yeah, indigo blue, yeah, yeah. pure white belly. So they've got to be a bit careful here. They don't they'll be the very finger, careful. Yeah, yeah. They don't lose the fish and the finger, yeah. yeah. There oh, we go. Got it. Oh. Oh. oh, so close. Oh. Well done, Norman. Here we go. What an amazing Shark's looking shark, yeah. Open the engine cover. Cover, too. OK. Yeah, 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 Ready? Okay, lad. Right. Go on. And away it goes. See how it swims straight down. If any of the tagged sharks are caught again, 
The hope is that the tag is posted back to Ireland with information on when and where it was captured. In the last 30 years, the Irish tagging project has revealed some startling results. One of the most amazing journeys made by one of these sharks was an incredible 4,250 miles all the way to the coast of Venezuela.